as of September 2022, Luna was gone because of the Luna crash, as we know, which is kind of big loss for the osmosis. So today's investment review for the Cosmos token called Atom. Since I'm gonna update the total score of the Atom, so let's review it. Okay. Then this is my portfolio strategy. So I only argue my assets to the Bitcoin and all the Oracle which related to these seven categories on the right side. Then if you want a deeper understanding about my portfolio strategy, please check out my video about my portfolio strategy. Then here's my video link. Okay. Then today's matching category for the Cosmos is number seven, blockchain interoperability. Okay. Then, as usual, I'm going to part the six Anaka points to set for the pain points, products, team, execution power, token academy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here, so the total score is 30 point, 30. Then, if you want a deeper understanding about my how I'm going to analyze each point here, please check out my video about my altcoin investment strategy. Then, here's my video link. Okay. Then, here's the total score of the Atom token, September 2022. Okay. The last time when I analyzed this project, total score is 25.0 point. And at this time, September 2022, total score is 24.5 points. Then my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm not gonna recommend investment in Atom Token at this moment. Then these red mark area here, such as Hype Cycle, I'm gonna change the score, okay? From 4.0 to 3.5. Then this remark area here on execution power, there is no score change, but I have a quick update for this project. Okay. Then from here, I'm gonna tell you the detail. Okay. Then let's stop here. Pain point analysis. There is no analysis. There is no change. They may have two pain points. And the first one, this one. Every blockchain is isolated each other. Okay. Then pain point number two, it's technically a tough challenge for Ethereum to support massive accuser based dApps on a multiple way. Okay. Then this one, proc analysis. analysis. Then here is Cosmos Hub. So Cosmos Hub, literally, it's a blockchain interoperability software. That is why every single L1 or a sidechain project such as L2 can connect each other through Cosmos Hub, even Bitcoin too. Okay. But still, they are struggling to build pretty scalable and a successful use case by using this blockchain interoperability software. Eventually, they're going to decide to launch Crossion Dex. Because as I told you many times, Crossion Dex will be the primary fast use case for every single user. They're going to use Crossion transactions, interoperability communication from one blockchain to the other blockchain. So, kind of right answer for them to launch this project, okay? Then in the beginning, Osmosis made a pretty good start. Then mainly because, as I'm gonna describe here, Luna used to be one of the major stablecoin projects in the blockchain space, has a pretty big ecosystem which is connected to Cosmos Hub. They can use Cosmos SDK, that's why. As of September 2022, Luna was gone because of the Luna crash, as we know, which is kind of big loss for the osmosis and also the Cosmos ecosystem too, because except the Lunar, there is no major player here. On the other side, once you look at the multi-chain competitor for the osmosis, they have a lot of other great options here, starting from the Ethereum, Phantom. So from the multi-chain perspective, Lunar crash, it's a little bit like, you know, loss here, but it's not a big loss. Then team analysis, there is, no, there is no big change. All player is pretty active still, that's good. Then number four, execution power analysis. So here, Osmosis liquidity, March 2022, last time. So as you can see here, number one liquidity is Atom Osmo pair, around 440 million, that was good. But as we can see here, all the Luna ecosystem, UST Osmo, Luna Osmo, and Luna UST, right? And each pool size is around 100 million. It's pretty big. But this time, September 2022, 
all these liquidity pool related to the Luna ecosystem are gone. It's big loss. So for the alternative solutions, looks like Osmos is currently focused on USDC, WES, and WBTC. That's completely right choice. But the issue is they have a lot of competitor in this liquidity pool on other like, you know, multi-chain decks like Curve Finance or like Uniswap. That's why it's a little bit difficult for them to, how they're going to compete with them, right? Because there is no critical differentiation point on Osmosis compared with Uniswap or Curve Finance. That's why it's a big loss for them, right? Then other item, also the stake stats. So the Cosmos, they're going to apply the DPS model. Then current their ranking is top seven, next to Polkadot. Then compared to Polkadot, one of the critical, you know, compared to H is their staking ratio. It's over 66.22. It's an amazing number. Polkadot, you know, they're going to achieve only around 53%. But the ranking stuff, you know, since they're going to calculate the market cap, so Polkadot market cap is almost a double size on the Cosmos. That's fine. You know, Polkadot hit the number six here. Okay. Then that's one, token economy. So here's token economy design matrix which I made and the major matching category here is blockchain interoperability. As we know, still there is not quite strong effective network effect model on Atom token yet. That is why I'm not gonna analyze the network effects. Then instead, I'm also run the benchmark analysis at this moment. So Polkadot's 8 billion, Cosmos 4.4 billion, the Algorand, recently it looks like they're gonna move in from L1 player to blockchain interoperability layer, 2.0 billions. Then how many? 250 millions. Okay. So literally Cosmos is the number two player here, right? Next to Procodots. Then number six, half cycle analysis. So here is Gartner half cycle analysis. We have three blockchain version, 2022. Then their major matching category, blockchain interoperability in the web three. Those two items, it's kind of big themes. Big investment themes all the time. But you know, before the lunar crash, by leveraging the you know business of the osmosis, Cosmos, another matching category here, they used to have like a DApps, blockchain wallets, DeFi, stablecoin, and DEX. But the thing about the traction level of osmosis, they lost all the market momentum here because of the you know lunar crash. That's why it's a huge big loss for them. That's why I think you know the market momentum on the cosmos is decreasing. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. So final item, total swap dates. Okay. This moment, pain points, no change. Again, blockchain interoperability is so important, extremely important. But the their pain point definitions, especially for the dApps, their pain point definition on the cosmos is quite a big. That's why I said the still 4.0 here. Okay. Products, no big change, 4.0. Team level, same, 4.5, same things. Execution power, you know, no squad change, but then their execution capability itself is quite low. Okay, not that big. Then token economy, 5.0. Still, I admire as a fast mover and a fast successful integration case of the DPS model, which is quite popular for L1, L2 these days. So still, I set the 5.0 here. Then hype cycle, I'm gonna downgrade from 4.0 to 3.5. It's because Luna crash. If still they have Runa project here, they can get a lot of other high potential market momentum here, you know, with the combination of the osmosis. But now there is no Runa. Then of course Luna project itself, it's so seriously working on to, you know, revive again, but it takes probably one or two years or so. Then from that perspective, if you're gonna invest in Luna, invest in Atom itself, Cosmos Atom itself, you're gonna make the double of your you know, investment risk, right? Because you know, Luna is a key successful factor of the Atom ecosystem at this moment. So from that perspective, you know, I still continue to recommend investment in Luna project because that's also a key player here for the stablecoin market. But the Atom, it's a dual you know, risk model here. So I can't recommend it with them, right? So total score is 24.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm not gonna recommend investment in Cosmos token at all. Okay? I can recommend the double risk model for this investment. It's pretty risky. That is why I said 24.5 points for the Atom tokens at this moment. Okay? 
Then, if you are interested in much more detailed information about my profile locations and also my real time buy and selling action for every single crypto assets, including ICO, RD on DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program Real Time Buy and Selling Signal. The major purpose of this membership program is to help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The for more detail, please check my other video. Then here's my video link. Yeah. So that is all this time. So I'm going to make this video for educational purpose. So I'm not going to guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video and this video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and water space. So I'm going to make a lot of this video crypto and water space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.